What's going on, guys? Thomas Messon here. Super excited to go over everything that I know on Instagram, how to grow at an organic level. And that's uh, some value that I want to bring more to this channel is really growing your Instagram page at an organic level, how to set your page up, how to really optimize everything on your Instagram page to, to be more effective on SEO and, and really just get those followers organically. I'm also going to go over the strategy and the plan on how to do this, right? So in depth, how to do this. Um, and so we're going to get into that right now. We're on OBS and, um, and so if um, I'm cutting out, I do apologize first time uh, really using this thing um, in a couple of years. So just getting back to it. Uh, so, you know, to start off with Instagram, you know, the most important thing is to, to really solidify your market, solidify, you know, the brand that you want to really structure for yourself, a solidified niche. People know who you are and you're really passionate about something. So Instagram should be fun. Social media should be fun. You should only be talking about and creating content that is fun for you. And that can actually be rewarding through creating a brand. And then essentially that can sustain you and your family. So the whole point to this is to, for, for Instagram, for YouTube, for any of this stuff, you want to make sure that you're passionate about what you're talking about. You're passionate about what you stand for. And that's, the, that's what you want to present online because that at the end of the day is what can be done long term, right? So if you're really passionate about health and you're really passionate about teaching people how to be more healthy and live a greater life, if that's your passion, then that's, you know, that's what you want to portray as. Like that's the type of content that you want to create. And then you want to use SEO and, and different, um, um, different strategies to actually be seen. And we're going to go over that right now. This is going to be quite a long video. So guys, Definitely take some notes because we're going to basically go over everything. This is going to be like an, a, a course. This is a live call. Uh, so really excited to go over this material. There's going to be material in here that you won't hear anywhere else. So definitely stay tuned for the whole entire time. And uh, we're going to get into it right now. So a major tip is you want to change your profile picture and get that ring around your profile picture like right now. So pause the video and download this app. It's called Pro Pick Editor. And it has like a girl's face that has that um, ring around it. And then it has like a little verification. You want to download that app right now and set up your profile picture. So that's step number one. That's going to be amazing because your profile picture is the most important thing um, ever, right? When, when people see that you left a comment or they saw that you liked or that they saw that you watched their stories, all that they see is your profile picture, right? So if you have an amazing profile picture with like a really nice clean headshot, like on that app, if you download it, that face shot that's on there looks great. That's like the perfect model of what you want to do for yourself. If you look at mine at Thomas Messon on Instagram, you'll see that it's it's an awesome like lifestyle um, shot like dead on. Ideally, you would want it to be like a very close up face shot um, or some something with a really cool background or like wearing awesome clothes, but you need to have your face in it and you need to have that ring. That ring is really going to catch people's attention, whether you're watching their stories, whether you're liking their photos, whether you're following them, whether you're leaving comments, whether you're tagged in specific things, or if people are just searching up a niche account, such as a travel account or a fitness account or whatever it is, you, you want your profile picture to stand out from the rest. This is also a huge tip with YouTube. Everyone knows this, that if you have amazing custom thumbnails, then you're going to be ahead of the curve. And if you actually search up videos on YouTube, usually they're very professional, um, you know, thumbnails that you'll see, right? So each thumbnail will have like words in it and it'll have the person's face in it and they'll be smiling. And a lot of these are very professional. They're well done. You can go on Fiverr, get them professionally done or hire someone to get those done. You want to make sure that you have these amazing thumbnails. Um, and it's the same with your profile picture. So invest into it. If you have to get a really good picture, profile picture, invest in it. That app, uh, it might cost money. It might be free at first. I think it might cost money. So um, I do apologize for that. But, you know, it's an investment in, in your brand. It's an investment in the profile picture. And you want that ring around you and you want to add any of those different effects that you can find on that app. So, or you can just do it yourself on, on Photoshop. It's really up to you. But that's a great app. It's really easy. You can just get it up and rolling like instantly. 
Uh, so that's really, really important. The first most important thing is solidifying your profile picture. We're just going to go down, right? And, and what you want to do is you want to model off of what people are doing. So go to the top experts in your field, right? Go to the top leading, uh, like your competitors, right? People that are similar to you. If you're an influencer and you're like um, into like beauty and fashion, what other people are in that niche that are just crushing it? How do they have their profile laid out? That's exactly what you want to model. And that's a secret, right? Not too many people are going to tell you that, but that like everything's in plain sight. You, you study what someone does that is extremely successful and you basically model it because everyone's modeling each other. All the successful people copy off and model each other and they do it in their own way. And that's totally fine, right? So if you want to, if, if, if you want to have amazing results, you're going to have to model and copy what already is working very well, right? You can also search up SEO search terms and see which words are getting the most traffic. And you can do that on YouTube as well. And that is called um, TubeBuddy, I believe. And you can just see like what, what tags people use. You can see more information about what they use behind the scenes that you can't see. You can see which tags that they use that actually ranked, right? So you can do that to find different tags. There's different tools where you can actually go in and see a little bit farther. Um, if you see an account is using using specific hashtags and that post is going really viral, it's getting a bunch of comments, you want to literally use some of those some of those hashtags because they work really well. And then another really good app is called um, Flick. I believe, and let me just make sure that's right. But it's a um, it's a search engine tool for hashtags, and it shows you what's going uh, viral. It's called it's called Flickr, F L I C K R, and that is a hashtag. I believe it costs like ten dollars, fifteen dollars. But hey, if that allows you to go viral, if it allows you to get more followers, it's definitely a really good investment. So I'm gonna go over like this stuff isn't gonna always be free, but I'm gonna share with you like the the best apps, the best latest information that most people aren't going to be telling you in this field. I do own a, an agency. I do have a bunch of clients, a ton of verified clients, and we like working with verified clients because they don't run into any issues, which is amazing. So we can actually do all the growth strategies on their accounts and they get incredible results. So if you're verified, if you want to absolutely blow up your, your Instagram account simply because you don't have any limits, there's like you can you can follow as many people as you want. You can you can do all these different growth strategies. We don't do following, but there's a bunch of different growth strategies, and we can literally max out the limits for you. And you can grow at an organic level. I've seen people gain five thousand, ten thousand followers in a month with our strategies, right? So if, if that's something that you want to do, definitely reach out to me on Instagram. It's just at Thomas Messon. If you're not verified, there are um, we can make it work, but there are different. Um, different uh, ways we have to go about it because it is very strict with that type of stuff. But I also want to go in face into Facebook ads and how we can effectively um, use Facebook ads to grow your Instagram account. And I got a post that had 3000 likes on $3 and that was one, on my, one of my profile pictures. So I do know how to do the ads. I do know how to do this stuff. And I'm sorry if this looks weird, but this is a, a juice ginger lemon and um, cucumber just straight juicing um, but um, but yeah so the profile picture most important thing and then we'll, when we go down the description what does the description say right we want to model what other people are doing in your field right so if you're into fitness hey let's let's look at five different fitness experts and let's see what they're doing differently or let's see what they're all doing the same and what you want to do is model exactly what they're doing if they have a specific layout, if they're using specific emojis, you want to copy and model those things. You want to copy the exact layout, have the different um, head titles, right? So you know how people have like different horizontal um, descriptions. Um, with those hor horizontal descriptions, you want to make sure that you kind of model that, right? Um, and then um, let me just look at something real quick. Um, we do have... Uh, we're, run, we're working 24 seven um, as the agency and uh, we just, you know, need to make sure everything's good. Passwords are good. Awesome. So you guys, if, if you guys are an agency, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but I do want to give you guys some information on how to actually do this organically 
Um, and then if you do want to hire us, Social Flare, for, you know, to basically run your account, get you the growth that you deserve, you know, get way more followers that are all organic, that are in your specific niche, and we don't specifically have to do the follow. Like many agencies will do follow, unfollow. Uh, we don't like doing that. There's actually new methods, better methods that mo most people don't really know about. And we just go in, we log in, and we basically do the growth for you. You can log in at any time. Um, and it's it's just a lot of fun. It's definitely a, a passion of mine and something that I've been doing for four years, and I absolutely love it. It's, it's amazing. I love working with new people, especially in L.A. We get to... Um, it's just amazing because you get to live this amazing lifestyle. You get to work with all these different influencers. You get to work with who you want. And that's why I love um, doing what I do. And I love providing value because I know that it helps people with their brand, with their business. The most important thing in the in the 21st century is your brand. It's your online image. It's your, like the business card of the 21st century is your Instagram page. It's your Facebook page. It's your YouTube page, right? And so I'm really tapped into helping people really structure everything in a way where it actually benefits them, where they can create income online or they can just create a brand that can help them with their business, that can help them with their life. So I'm super passionate about it. I love it. We've helped so many people, well over 500 people. Altogether, we probably helped everyone gain well over like 500,000 followers in the short time that we've been around. And it's just, it's a bunch of fun. It's all real people. It's all organic. And that's what makes us different. We just love, you know, making sure that we provide value at an organic level, right? So description, make sure that you're modeling different um, descriptions. In the description, you definitely want to have like some type of slogan, something that you're passionate about. You know, like right in the beginning can be exactly who you are. So if it was me, it would be like, you know, Instagram social media expert. I want to teach you how to grow your Instagram page. Some, some type of right. So the first line should be, you know, what it is that you do. So when people look at you, they know exactly what you do. Uh, the, the line under that could be like a quote, it could be a slogan, it could be something that it could be like, yeah, like your company slogan, it could be something that you're passionate about, like an inspiring quote or something along those lines. And then you could have some type of case study, like something big that you recently did if you, if you ran a marathon or um, just different little things about you. If you have the personal page, if you have a business page, you can say how many clients you currently have. You could say, um, you could have like big um, accomplishments, like your biggest accomplishment ever you should have somewhere in there. So people, it'll just instantly raise credibility, right? So you put your biggest accomplishment on like the third line. Um, if you manage like some big company, you definitely want to put that in. If you've worked with this celebrity or, or this business, um, whatever the biggest thing that you're that you've done in your career you want to put that like on the third line fourth line will be some type of call to action so if you just uh, put out a brand new blog or you put out a brand new youtube video you could say hey check out my brand new youtube video some type of call to action to point your audience to what it is that you're promoting whether it's a free pdf whether it's um uh, you know a click funnel whether it's uh your website whether it's your shopify website uh, whatever you're promoting, if it's clothing that you're selling, if you have different packages, um, whatever it is, right? You put that on the bottom. Um, and so for me, it could be like, hey, are you are you looking to blow up your brand? Click here. Something simple where it's pointing your audience to a specific link, right? And uh, that's how you want to set up the description. That works very, very well. You're going to get DMs. You're going to get people interested. You don't want to say too much, right? But you want to you want to have people like be really interested. You want to be more interesting, right? So you want people to be interested in you. You want to formulate the description in the bio in a way where people actually ask you questions, right? So structure in a way, and like I said, model the top experts in your field to see what they're doing. That kind of they're all doing similar because they all model each other, and you just want to pick and grab the best things that they do, and then you want to formulate that in your bio. For your name, um, we did skip that. For the name, you could have your personal name, which is what I usually do. Um, if you're, if you have a specific company, you could have the company name, and then another keyword that is, you know, whether it's fashion or um, blogging or uh, fitness or uh, modeling, you could have that dip, that specific keyword next to your name, and that just helps with the SEO. It it helps with you know having Instagram really determine what it is that you do because the like Instagram and how the algorithm works Instagram's like 
Awesome. We're, we're gathering all this data, all these keywords, all this data on your profile picture. Um, not your profile, but your like your page, right? So Instagram gathers all the different words, it gathers everything, and then it puts it in like an AI. And it's like, okay, this person's a traveler, this person's a fitness coach, this person is an influencer. Um, it gathers all the information and then it shows it to the specific people that are looking for that, right? So when you look at the explore page, what you look at most, the AI is gonna say, oh, okay, great. Um, Tom really likes fitness. Tom likes uh, workout videos. We're gonna show him more workout videos uh, because we know that he's already watching this stuff. Or if it was memes or, or something really funny, oh, Tom spent a ton of watch time on these specific videos, we're gonna show him more of that. So the more clear that you are, the more focused that you are, the better keywords that you have in your bio, the more likely Instagram's gonna show that specific audience. It's just gonna be easier for Instagram to really connect the two, right? So Instagram's really good at connecting, um, you know, the viewers to to the content that they're actually looking for, and it'll just put it together. So hopefully that helps you with like understanding the Instagram algorithm. So the more clear that you are, the more focused you are, the better keywords that you have, uh, just the better. And then um, for the content creation strategy, you know how you should structure your 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 posts and everything. You want to be on a consistent schedule, you know, post every two days, post every three days, but whatever it is, just be as, as consistent as you possibly can. You want to be really consistent. Use Flickr for hashtags. Make sure each post has different hashtags. You can also see what your competition is using. If they're using hashtags, steal those hashtags, take those hashtags, or pull from, you know, if there's 10 different posts you found, found like, you know, put them together, put all the hashtags together. And create your own list of like 22 to 25 hashtags that you can just put in. Make sure they're always different on each post. The description could be a quote. I like doing quotes. I get great results on doing quotes. It fits me because I, I really love inspiring people and helping people to become the greatest version. Um, so I'm much more than just Instagram. So I'm more of just like helping people. Um, and so and so like you want to have those those specific hashtags, right? And then the quote that you know, can, can basically, like, yeah, so you want to have like the quote that basically um, like represents who you are, right? So if you're into motivation, you would have like motivational quotes. If you're in fitness, you would have, you know, different fitness related topics that you would have in your description, right? So, um, and then what really works is like having long paragraphs, right? So if there's a picture that means a lot to you for personal pages, have like a big paragraph, a long paragraph that works very well. If you like Instagram actually really likes that they like content because they like watch time so if you can create big sentences with like something that's cool motivational or some a story like you can do storytelling you want to add as much possible much content possible in the post and that is going to be you're going to most likely have the most success with that um, and that works pretty much every time and some of the top people know that so definitely start you know storytelling create you know long paragraphs Make sure it's all connected. Use Flickr for the hashtags that, um, and then make sure the hashtags actually are associated with that picture and what you're talking about. You don't want the hashtags to be different. You want everything to just be perfectly aligned, and you know that just helps Instagram make sure that they push your content to where um, that traffic is. Uh, and then for stories, you want to make sure that you're posting every day, like 20 stories a day. Boom, 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 20 stories. Like you want to be constantly posting stories. You want to constantly have, you know, um, show the lifestyle. You want to constantly be promoting what it is that you do in a way that's not like overbearing, but like, hey, you slip it in here and here. Hey, this is what I'm doing. Like, this is a new special that we have. This is a new thing that we're offering. Um, you can have comp like different updates. You know, if you have a ton of clients, they can, you know, they can go in your story to make sure that um, they can go to your story to just make sure to keep track and, and keep you know keep up to date with everything that you're doing because everyone's watching your stories they want to they want they want you to keep them updated so you want to make sure that you're keeping people updated and you want to make sure that you're posting a ton of content lifestyle content whatever it is that you're passionate about create a lot of content around that if you're really into music you know post a lot of content with you performing singing whatever it is make sure that you're posting a bunch of content on your stories because that is like, that's just a great amount of traffic. And then you can put links in your story 
and you can point everyone to those links after 10,000 followers. So we, let's get you to 10,000 followers. You can message me on Instagram at Thomas Messin. If you're verified, great. If you're not, we, it, we can still make it work. There's just different things that we have to go over, like on a one-on-one -on -one thing. Um, but it works really good, works very good. And there's a ton of different methods that we can do. There's a ton of different options we can do to, to grow your account. So that's basically it for today. Uh, we will have more in-depth videos with, with more content, but that's kind of like very at a very basic level, you wanna make sure you hit all those points. That's how you're gonna really optimize your, your Instagram. Like if you're looking to optimize your Instagram page, watch this video you know, like 30 times until, until you get it because it is really, really important. So, hey guys, we'll see you in the next one. Make sure you follow this if you want to see more content. Hit the bell notification icon if you want to get more up-to-date information on health, um, fitness, and as well as just social media marketing. I like, to add, um, I like to add business concepts and entrepreneurial type concepts. And I'm really into health because I'm into biohacking. I'm into just feeling incredible. And I think that health actually helps you become better on social media. It makes you look better. Health is extremely important. So you're going to get more content related to health and, and all the ancient nutrition. Um, I'm really into that stuff as well as, you know, business, everything related with business, entrepreneurship. It's basically what, you know, the millennials in the 21st century is all about. We're into health. We're into lifestyle. We're into growing social media. We're into this stuff. So that's what you're going to get here. Um, make sure that you guys subscribe and leave a comment down below with any tips, any tricks at all that you have with Instagram growth. I would love to hear um, the different tips and tricks that you're using right now to grow your, in your Instagram page. If you have any case studies or if you have any results, add that down below so more people can, can get more information because it's all about knowledge, right? So I love learning and I like reading all the comments. So leave that comment down below. And you know what? Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you in the next one.